The company was started by two of my college classmates, Rich Doyle and Dan Canary. And shortly after college, they took a trip to Europe where they, amongst other things, visited a lot of local breweries in the towns they were in, in over in Europe. And they really enjoyed not only drinking the beer that they found, but they also enjoyed the beer culture and the beer traditions that went along with the beer. And so that variety, that diversity, and that connection with the brewery that they found in Europe couldn't be found here. So they thought, well, if we enjoyed it, there's probably other people like us who enjoyed it, who would enjoy it. So let's do it here and see if we can make a living doing it. I think our approach has always been, an, a, you know, maybe an approach to beer, an approach to beer making, which is we appreciate the great traditional styles of beer, but we're also, we also try to make our own interpretation of that style. And I think we're also open to new beers and new creations. So it's really a question of, uh, of, of innovation as well as appreciating tradition. But there's no particular one style that we wanted to bring when we started the company it was more of an approach to making and appreciating beer. We have a tradition here of making beer that we like to drink. It's not, we don't hold ourselves above any other beer drinkers, but we feel that to be true to ourselves, we need to make beer that we really like. It's a great brewing community in New England. All six states have it. And there's a fraternity, I think, that we all feel and would put our beers up against any other region of the country. all these beers that we had discontinued. Well, we, we loved them, but had to discontinue them because of these practical considerations of freshness and batch size and wanted to bring them back. And that was kind of the, the genesis of the 100 Barrel Series. When we do 100 Barrel Series beer, it's our, our limited run beers, that's when we tend to sort of go off the chart more in, in, in picking up different uh, varieties of ingredients. Uh, where, you know, when we make a frambois and we've got to get 4,500 pounds of fresh raspberry puree, uh, that's when it really gets interesting. The 100 barrel series, the 22 ounce bottles, the really only making 100 barrels at a time, gave us a way to go to market with a beer that was, you know, maybe not for everybody, but was some people would really love and some people might not like, but, you know, that, that's, that's fine and that, that's really what we wanted to do. And it gave us an opportunity to have every brewer and, and even the CEO on occasion uh, have a beer uh, that has his or her, or her name on it. So I, mean, I think that, that's really a fun part as well. We invite everybody to come to the brewer, one of our two breweries or both, be involved in our events, be involved in, in Friends of Harpoon, be involved in Harpoon Helps. You know, what we're about is, is not just the beer, but is kind of a community involvement. And We take great pride not only in what we do here, but the the consumers that we have and we bring to the brewery and I hope that we've 
provided a product that people enjoy and take pride in. And it, none of it would be possible without them. And the enthusiasm that we get, I mean, walking into the tour room here, up the beer garden up in Vermont, and it's a wonderful feeling. And it, it's a, hopefully it's a mutual, it's a mutual admiration society. I think when we get positive feedback, I hope the sense goes out to our consumers about how much we appreciate them every single day.